Two dogs attack a woman walking her poodle near her home. She suffered severe bite wounds and a fractured ankle. Tonight, her dog is fighting for its life. News 13's Cheryl Barber joins us live at the Buncombe County Animal Shelter with more. Did they catch those two dogs, Cheryl? Well, animal control officers, in fact, did round up both of those dogs, and they're here in quarantine at the animal shelter. The attack leaves a pet owner worried about the risk of rabies. Just out of nowhere, the pit bull and the other dog just pounced on her. Peggy Harwell and her poodle mix pup named Sheba had strolled down her driveway Saturday afternoon. She says she tried to save her dog from a vicious attack. They were grabbing her. They grabbed her out of my arms and, and just chewed my fingers up. And, um, and then I didn't know till I got to the hospital that I had a crack in my ankle bone where they had knocked me down. Harwell says this stick is evidence of the battle. It's blood stained, and the little dog's harness and leash are still tangled around it. I had a stick. I kept beating them, and it, and it wouldn't, it didn't. I even picked a big rock up and hit the pit bull, and it didn't deter them. She's in pretty bad shape. She's got lots of big puncture wounds. I just hope she makes it. She was at the vet struggling to stay alive. Harwell is surrounded by her family who must help her now with the basics of staying at home. The two attacking dogs are quarantined in the animal shelter as animal control officers investigate the incident. No citations have been issued and no decision about the dogs has been made. But in dog bite cases, the law is clear about the options deputies have. Once a person is injured in a bite, we will uh, move to sever that person's ownership right to the animal and ultimately to put that animal down if the animal has injured someone seriously. I don't want it back in the neighborhood and if they have to put it down, they should. And I'm worried about rabies also because I may have to take rabies shots. That decision will be made in the 10-day period that involves the quarantine. Peggy Harwell says that she's also faced with the possibly paying thousands of dollars in uh, hospital bills and vet bills, and she hopes that the dog owners will pay. Reporting live in Asheville, I'm Cheryl Barber, News 13.